All right. Welcome back. Uh, good morning again. Right. I already went live earlier this morning. I'm at home. Home from work. Nursing an injury. But that won't stop me from my work. So I want to deal with this lawyer. Some of you will remember her from my previous live stream. Um, she made a few statements that I want to go over and respond to. You can find her website in the chat room and in the description box of this video. All right, good morning, Lala. Uh, which, Mr. Payne, Isabel. Let's get straight into it. Now, this is a civil rights attorney. Civil rights attorney. And this is um, her website. It's in a section called In the News. It's a link on her homepage. And you can see some of her cases that have made the news. So I clicked that link and it brought me here. Can y'all see this? Well, I want y'all to pay attention to something. Y'all remember what she said about the dog? She was defending the dog that charged at this officer and the officer had to shoot it. This is her website, a civil rights attorney. Look at her name right here. Y'all see that? Her name's right here. Watch this. You see that? It turned into a dog. Her name transforms into a dog when you scroll down. I just wanted you to make note of that before we get into this. Now, this is one of the stories, uh, one of the cases that she handled. I guess there was um, an arrest or something. We'll come back to that. I want to deal with this case right here. This is the story that I shared in the most recent live stream, but I want to focus on this story on this video because I sent an invitation to this attorney and to the police department on their Twitter. Just to let everyone know, there is a group of people out here who are on the cops side in this situation. Now, I don't know their police department. They may have some uh, wicked people, evil people in their poli police department. Maybe they have a bunch of angels. I'm not passing judgment on the character of any police officer of Loveland. I'm saying in this situation, this was justified. There is no grounds for you to stand on if you want to argue that a cop has to stand there and hope that the dog is simply coming to play or coming to greet him. As this, this attorney says, she says the dog was just coming to greet him. I don't want to be greeted by nothing that is charging at me. I don't want anything to greet me that way. Especially not a deadly predator. Okay, and I'm, I'm calling it predator just for argument's sake in this video. Why are we playing dumb? Now, I don't care if she actually successfully sued the police department or not. I just want to deal with this ridiculous argument. Now, this is one of the broadcasts that deals with that case. Let's watch it together. Herkimer, what are you doing? Herkimer was a 14-month-old terrier boxer mix whose owners described him as sweet, loyal, and playful. Okay, first of all, they say that about all dogs before they attack. Okay, let's count them. 
14,000 dog bites every day in the United States. They all say that their dog is sweet and loving. Yet we still get those 14,000 bites every day. Nearly 5 million every year. Over half all victims are children. They always say that. So that means nothing. And what are you basing that on? How are you trying to prove that? With a little few second long video of the dog playing with another dog. Is it even playing what they're doing? Now, I'm pointing this out because on her, she has a YouTube channel. On her YouTube channel, she has the unedited version. I shared it in the community section of this channel. And in the beginning of the video, they showed this scene right here for a long time before they actually get into the shooting, trying to get people to connect with the dog, with connect with the aggressor. And this is why I have to challenge these lawyers. They defend criminals. You defend bad people. You defend dangerous people who are a danger, a threat to entire communities. That's not justice. I, I will not accept that as justice. Now let's continue. What are you doing? Herkimer was a 14 month old terrier boxer mix whose owners described him as sweet, loyal, and playful. Good boys. A good boy who died a very violent death. It's it didn't. Here, here she goes right here. Disgusting. She said it's disgusting that this officer defended himself. You can see on this video she just watched the shooting. She just watched the actual shooting. And she said it's disgusting that this officer defended himself from a dog that was charging at him. It was June 29th, 2019. Jay Ham and his wife Wendy were with Herkimer and their two other dogs in a vacant lot in Loveland. According to court records, the lot's owner was watching remotely on surveillance video and called police to investigate people trespassing on his property. Body camera video shows what happened when Officer Matthew Grasshorn responded. It's just as bad as it can get. Just a few seconds after getting out of his car, Officer Grasshorn shot Herkimer in the head. Notice how, how the journalist said after the cop got out of his car, he shot the dog in the head. As if he just got out the car, saw a dog sitting there minding its business and decided to shoot it in the head. Y'all hear how they worded that? If you're such good attorneys and journalists, why don't you just tell stories the way they actually happen? Why all this word salad where you're not given a full description of what's happening? Seconds after getting out of it. Y'all hear that? This is so pathetic. I should have been a lawyer. It's just as bad as it can get. Just a few seconds after getting out of his car, Officer Grasshorn shot Herkimer in the head. As the I mean, if it's this easy to beat a case, I should have been a lawyer. So, okay, the cop just got out of his vehicle and decided to shoot a dog. Okay, if that's what y'all saw, I saw a fully grown looking pit bull charging at this officer. That's what I saw. Our Officer Grasshorn shot Herkimer in the head as the dog approached. Yeah, she she walks up and said, y'all remember this video. As soon as he shot the dog, she walks up saying, that's my baby. You shot my baby. My baby. Babies are harmless. And, and because they keep calling this dog baby, they start to treat them like babies. And they endanger entire communities. You don't defend people like this. You hold them accountable. It is disgusting that the almost everybody was on the side of this dog owner. Get to your truck. That looked like a excited dog coming to greet him. I don't care what you think it looked like. We are not obligated to stand there and hope that a charging pit bull only wants to greet us. That is not what a dog looks like when it's gonna bite. The fact of something- That's not what a dog looks like when it's gonna bite. Y'all know how many, how many videos, that dog that ran across the street and bit that little girl, that notorious video, 
it was running up to that girl just like this. Literally, there was no difference. There never is any difference. Right before dogs attack, they run up just like this. That dog ran up on that little girl exactly like this. In fact, it's bred, it's in their genes to attack without showing signs first, to attack abruptly, suddenly. And this is a bully breed. This dog is a bully breed. So what are you talking about? No, no, ma'am. And I don't care if you actually sued the police department or not. You're still wrong. In the public court system of the people, I'm not going to stand there and assume that a bully breed charging at me wants to play or greet me, whatever greeting's supposed to mean. And I don't want to be greeted by having something jump all over me. You dog, these dog lovers kill me. How they expect everybody to accept this type of disgusting contact with a creature, accept it as normal. It's not acceptable. Many of us are allergic. Some of us are traumatized. Some of us just don't like dogs. And we're not obligated to assume that a dog wants to greet, quote, greet us when they're charging at us. Justify killing by the police officer. No, that is not what a dog looks like when it's going to bite. The fact like you know what a dog looked like when it's running up to attack. When did you learn that? They teach you that in law school or what a dog looked like when it wants to attack opposed to when it wants to greet somebody. Man, these school systems, these schools that accredit these people, their degrees are pathetic. And I'm glad I did not finish college. I'm glad I didn't finish college to be no brainwashed zombie like this. Wow. Of something being a split second decision doesn't mean you get to err on the side of shooting everything that moves. Her yeah, it, she described that as the dog just moving. No, this thing was moving towards the officer fast, charging, darting directly towards him. It wasn't just something moving, ma'am. We got videotape. You're not going to sit here and tell us that we saw something other than what's actually on film. This is pathetic. And I hope she responds. I sent you a link to this live stream, ma'am. I sent it to your YouTube page. I sent it to your Twitter. You know that I know that you have a YouTube page. So go ahead and refute anything that I say. I encourage you to please defend yourself because I am criticizing a bunch of what you've put out here. You put this information out here. First devastated owners had him euthanized a few days later. Yeah, I mean, this really wrecked their lives. Why are you defending some people who break in the law? There is a leash law in Loveland. Okay, let's get into laws. And if she successfully sued the police department, that is a travesty. That is not justice. That is criminal. If they were actually sued, that's criminal. Again, why are you defending people behaving like this? There's no leash on these dogs. Okay, let's look at the Loveland law. You're an attorney, right? You're a lawyer, right? You wouldn't have beat me in case in no in court. Not with this case. I don't care who your opponent was. I would have spanked you in court. No. Okay, here's, look, City of Loveland. Loveland.org. What does it say? Pets must be leashed and under human control at all times, except in designated dog park enclosures. And they were not in a dog park enclosure. 
They were trespassing on someone else's property, painting some type of box. Why don't you paint at your own house? Pull up in somebody's business parking lot, starting to paint nothing? That right there tells you these people walking around like they own the city. That sense of entitlement, we talk about it all the time. It is rampant. So what's going on here? This wasn't no dog park, and this is the law. Dog wasn't on a leash, and it wasn't under control. You call this under control? Where your dogs are charging towards someone, and you got your back turned toward the dogs? You call that under control? Man, I, I wish... This lawyer would have tried to argue this case in court with me. I don't think so. How are you going to prove in court that that's not how a dog looks when it's coming to attack? Ain't no rules on how a mutt looks when it's about to attack you. Unbelievable. And if you go to the police officer's websites... They're being harassed by a whole bunch of dog lovers. And I mean, they're being outright harassed. Matter of fact, let's go to it now. Let's go to it now. I'm going to take my time, make sure I do this right. Cover all the bases. Let's finish this news report. And they're now suing Trespass. Officer Grasshorn Trespass. and the city of Loveland. It's just this reckless entitlement to kill somebody's pet reckless entitlement to kill somebody's pet reckless entitlement to defend yourself against a deadly creature charging at you you defend people like this these criminals with their dogs off leash these right now these people were in danger in the whole community anybody that 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 these dogs saw was in danger and you want to defend people like this? This people, this is why I call out these lawyers and all these other people. She claims to be fighting for life and liberty. What did she say? She says something on her website. We'll get back to it. But this is criminal in my book, defending these people out here, endangering the whole entire community trust they breaking all kinds of laws right now no leash endangering everybody in the community trespassing it dogs if this is my business i wouldn't want no dogs running around people up there painting objects in my parking lot either she talking like the owner was somehow immoral for calling the police here let me show y'all let me show y'all this video version that that she has on her this her youtube channel this are you yes i found you on youtube don't play dumb i know you got a youtube channel go ahead and respond go ahead and, and defend yourself because we we are criticizing your information here's the video right here now this is the unedited version hey, Max. What you got look at this Look, look at how long they show the dogs. I, I guess you could say they're not even playing with each other. Dogs just being brainless. And they want the viewers to say, oh, the sweet boy. So loving. All dogs that have ever attacked have behaved like this at some point in their life. This behavior does not mean that these things are somehow harmless i guess that's what this this is supposed to mean i guess that's her goal showing these much rolling around for a few minutes before they get into the uh video but look at what she wrote up here look at what she wrote up here wait a minute these are the two dogs and she gave their names she showed them playing and she gave their names. Y'all know why she did that. They're taught to do that. That's that pro-dog journalism. 
That's right. I'm sure you took journalism in college to get your little degree. It's, this is so sad, man. Now, look at what she wrote up here. Wendy and Jay had spent the day driving around Loveland with their dogs delivering firewood. They decided to stop at a vacant business parking lot. What do you mean vacant? It's an active business. There's no cars there. Yeah. Vacant business parking lot to fix a firewood box. No, they went to paint it. And again, paint it, fix it on your own property. My property is not a dog park. Get your truck, your firewood, and your mutts off my property. I don't blame this man for calling the police. What's wrong with you? What is this? And look at what she wrote. They decided to stop at a vacant parking lot, fix a firewood box, and let each of the dogs get a stretch. Get a stretch. You better let that much stretch on a leash. See how entitled, she talking about entitled. See how entitled dog lovers are? They feel like, oh, just let them run around off leash. They're just going for a stretch. That's all. No, the law is that you keep these things on a leash and let them do all their stretching while they're leashed up. These dog owners wasn't even making an attempt to keep the general public safe. They were just totally, totally reckless. Unbelievable. Okay, let's continue. And yeah, they point this out as if the, the business owner is somehow evil. You call the police this evil business owner yeah make sure they didn't mess with his dumpster because people will throw stuff into random dumpsters trying to make this man seem evil for wanting to protect his property what is this people this is this this liberal nonsense that we gotta get rid of of painting criminals projecting criminals as innocent victims they have done nothing to nobody. Y'all got to be careful with rhetoric like this. Okay, now I'm not going to show. And now, what is this she wrote up here? He saw Bubba sleeping. Okay. And did not announce himself. The cop didn't announce himself. And what was that supposed to do? If he got out and said, hi, I'm a police officer, the dogs would have charged him. What difference does that make? What is going on here? Then she said, instead, he did this. What did he do? What did the police officer do? He can't get out of his vehicle? you telling him? You telling me the, the cop made some talk? And look at the owner. Look at this. The, the owners just stood there. They saw their dogs charging at this man. And they just stood there. And you can see in this behavior. This bully breed is the alpha. Y'all see that? The bully breed is the alpha. You see how the bully breed cut the other dog off? And the other dog stopped. The other dog stopped and walked in a different direction. So this is the alpha behaving like the alpha. They're the first to attack. This was an absolute dog attack. And he stopped it. This cop stopped neutralized the threat before it happened he was supposed to stand there and assume that it was just gonna give him a kiss 
on what planet these people live on. That looked exactly like an attack. Both dogs charged him. So you already have that pack mentality. When multiple dogs are running towards something, you can rest assured it's going to attack. They're going to attack it. Had this bully breed latched onto that man, that other dog would have helped. Especially if the officer fell during the attack. This is a pack behavior. The alpha refuses to let this dog attack first. And that dog stopped and walked in a different direction. Because you can see this bully breed was, just, was focused on the other dog first. The bully breed wanted to check the subordinate dog first. See, it was looking at the other dog for a while, fixated on the other dog because it's the alpha. And so the other dog stops, turns away. And this dog was about to attack first. That's what it looked like to me. I don't know what you're talking about, how a dog's supposed to look before an attack. Dogs can only look a certain way. What are, you, what are you talking about? Does it have a smile on its face? Is it running towards this man with a big Kool-Aid smile? What are you talking about? That's so goofy. Now, like I said, you go to their Twitter. This is the Twitter of the Loveland Police Department. And you click on the most recent tweet i think it's the most recent march 10 maybe maybe not but you click that scroll down and you see these people leaving these videos these video this video right here is of uh another case where they're saying that they used excessive force this dog that right here in this thumbnail i don't know if y'all can see that it was trying to attack one of the police officers but the dog was on a leash so the other cop just grabbed the leash and you know picked the dog up with the leash wasn't gonna kill that dog the way he he neutralized the threat these people neutralize the threat and get ridiculed for it look at this here's another one Look at this. Look at this. Too stupid to understand. This is like the fifth case out of Loveland in two years with just disgusting con conduct. This is pathetic. So, you know, a lot of people don't give this any thought. How a lot of police officers are doing what they're supposed to do doing what they're supposed to do this man shot a bully breed a breed that's bred to fight bred to kill bred to launch a sustained attack to not respond to appeasement behavior by a victim the most dangerous breed of all he neutralized it and he's being ridiculed as some type of evil person all over this Twitter, all over their Facebook by dog lovers. By dog lovers. This this is especially criminal, man. This is criminal. So if you're going to focus on what a police department is doing wrong without focusing on what they do right, it's in bad faith anyways. Not going to listen to that. I'm not going to listen to a lawyer who's clearly a dog lover. Look, look at the home page. Look at the home page of her website. Hello. And her little icon is a dog. So that means she's going to take up for dogs no matter what happens 
anywhere, no matter how it goes down. Now, let me show something else here. Loveland Police Under. I don't want to forget about this. How y'all doing so far? We good out there? Sarah, I want you to see this video, and I want you to respond. Simple as that. I want you to respond if you disagree with anything I criticize you in your case about. Under scrutiny again this evening, this time for a shooting that killed a family pet. And tonight that family is suing, claiming what happened to them is indicative of a larger problem within the police force. With our top story, here's Denver 7, CB Cotton. When an empty parking lot becomes a place of peril, you have a problem. This is a real ongoing issue out of Loveland. At least that's how attorney Sarah Schelke sees it. I can't make sense, not just of, of the decision to shoot this dog. Why did you have to shoot him? You can't make sense out, uh, out of that? He was charging the dog. What? Do you know it's in the laws in many states that we're justified to shoot a dog in a scenario like that when they're charging towards you aggressively and there's only one way to charge towards someone that's aggressively because you running towards someone is being aggressive with them you go run towards anybody they're going to feel like you're a threat so no this is open and shut that cop was justified for defending himself, neutralizing the threat, and making this community safer. Because everybody was in danger. As long as they were out there daydreaming while their dogs are running around off leash, breaking the law, and trespassing. These are the true criminals. You want to paint them like the victim? Like it's like it being a puppy is supposed to mean something. Look, don't call no big dog a puppy. I'm not trying to hear that. Don't call no dog just as big as a grown dog no puppy. Like that's supposed to mean something. If anything, it will mean it's more violent and deadly. Well, these people, how is that supposed to make some sense? How, why should we factor that in? That it's a puppy. It's only 14 months old when it's, giant in size make sense out of this man but that's the decision made by loveland police officer matthew grasshorn on matthew grasshorn right shout out to him for giving us a perfect example of self-defense june 29th 2019 According to the lawsuit, a couple parked in the back of this parking lot. They say they were painting an ice box. See, painting an ice box. This lawyer on her channel said that they were just fixing an ice box. Let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Was she right? They stopped to fix a firewood box. That's a lot different from painting. Right? I just wanted to point that out. I don't blame that business owner for calling the cops on them. For their firewood delivery business. They had their three dogs with them and they let them out to play. What they didn't This ain't no dog park. See how she just runs through all the law breaking, all the trespassing? How this the media will totally dismiss the criminal behavior of dog nutters trespassing breaking the law get out of here get that mutt on a leash get it out of here get out in my parking lot this is america this ain't no what is wrong with these people all right let's finish this no the owner of this building he had called police apparently this business owner had a remote camera he was watching on and he said they're not anywhere near my dumpster but just go see what they're doing to make sure they don't mess with my dumpster body camera video released on wednesday shows officer grass yeah he just asked the cops to go see what they're doing okay that sounds reasonable right, what you doing in the parking lot Horn exiting his car whirlwind of terrible 
conditions from Loveland police that led to the killing of this family's pet. What terrible conditions? What terrible conditions are you talking about, ma'am? The conditions that these criminals were out here trespassing and breaking the law, letting their dogs run around free willy, off leash, grown, big, huge dogs, bully breeds. Those are the conditions that has the cop there in the first place. Usually when cops show up, it's because somebody already broke the law. So why are you defending criminals and ignoring what they did? Cops didn't do nothing. You should be ashamed of yourself and these people for putting that cop in a position where he had to defend himself. He did not want to unload a clip on a dog. I'm quite sure, and I don't even know him. I'm quite sure he's a dog lover. Many of these cops who shoot dogs are dog owners, dog lovers themselves. So I'm not buying this narrative that is some uh, evil person who getting some kind of sick pleasure out of seeing a dog hurt or in pain. That seemed like what they try to imply. You can cut that out. Stop, cut it out. That's a very malicious, very evil narrative right there. Cops didn't do nothing. These people you're defending, they the ones who did something. The video then shows two of the family dogs approach him. The officer shoots one of them named her. They just, they just describe that as the dogs approaching him, as if they're just walking slowly. Just, you know, moseying their way on over there. Well, this mutt was charging at him. Herkimer. Shelke says the dog was euthanized four days later. Colorado has the Dog Protection Act and... Colorado got a leash law too. They say either keep them on a leash or keep them under voice command. There's no statewide leash law. But they say that you have to keep your dog under control at all times, which is a stupid law. They should just have a flat out leash law because nobody can guarantee that they're going to have their dog under control at all times. But clearly in this moment, these owners didn't have that dog under control, ma'am. You know that if they had under control, it wouldn't have got this close to a police officer where he had to shoot him. What what a joke. I would have defended them for free just to increase the popularity of my channel. I would have defended the police officer for free in court, man. This is pathetic. It requires, it's supposed to at least, a, a heightened additional amount of training uh, for police officers so that they're not just gunning dogs down. What What type of training would have protected him from this attack. What what do y'all expect police officers to, to do? Execute some type of magic on a dog that's charging at him? What's they supposed to pull out a magic wand and the dog suddenly levitates and it can't attack him? Now you neutralize. What are you talking about? There's nothing you can do when a dog is in the process of attacking you, charging at you. The only thing you can do is stand there and accept whatever the dog's going to do to you. And you're saying that that's what he should have done. And if the dog latched onto him and started to maul him, then you're going to say the dog was in, well, rightfully killed only after the dog launched an attack. That's what you're saying. And that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. If you have something for self-defense, the whole point in having it is to prevent something like that from happening. And if it latches on to him, he's in even more danger if he has to then shoot it while it's latched on to him. And who knows if he even be able to defend himself and shoot the dog after it latched on to him. No, the only thing you do in this situation is neutralize the threat. This is so pathetic, man. Ma'am, this is a pathetic case, a pathetic argument, and I challenge you on it. Training, um, for police officers so that they're not just gunning dog dogs down the first second they see one. First second they see one. He did a lot more than just see this dog. Yeah, he saw this dog all right. He saw it charging at him. And that's why he shot the dog. 
the dog was sitting there minding his business, it wouldn't have got shot. You defending people like this. These are criminals right here. These are the criminals. Trespassing. Letting huge dogs run around off leash. This ain't no dog park. These people, that's the sense of entitlement. I'm not in the business to get bit. The lawsuit filed against the officer, his supervisor, and the police chief alleges many things. To include that the officer could have got back in his patrol car. Or Say the officer could have got back in his patrol car. How do you know that? And again, police officers are not trained to behave in a cowardly manner. They're trained to take control of situations. It is insulting to say that a cop should have jumped in his car to hide from the dogs when he his job is to respond to a situation, to somebody trespassing. His job is to have a conversation with you not to hide from a deadly attack. This should be considered criminal right here because this was an attack. That is unreasonable. Expecting a cop to get back in his car. And they said, or he could have used non-lethal methods. Or used less lethal force. Like, like what? You think he had time to pull out a taser? Tase that dog? It probably wouldn't have worked. The tasers got to stick inside you, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of times they don't work. There have been dogs that have been tased and they continue to attack as if nothing was happening. Once that adrenaline gets going, the opioids and everything. No. And I don't want to hear about a baton or none of that other stupid nonsense. This is a deadly creature launching a deadly attack. So he used deadly force to neutralize it. And that is what the law tells us to do. That Herkimer displayed no signs of aggression. No, that was signs of aggression. That was aggression. You're not going to tell me a dog charging at me is not a serious situation. That is being aggressive. You don't charge at people. I don't care what dogs do in their little stupid world. I'm not a dog, and I don't accept dog behavior. I don't accept no deadly predator running at me. What's wrong with these people, man? I've always thought many of you lawyers were pathetic. You, you couldn't argue your way out of a wet paper bag. Now we're seeing it. Full bloom unbelievable yes shout out to everybody able to join uh, we hate dogs Ecuador Dave how pathetic is this let's finish this and that officers lied about the situation I'm thinking about said the officers lied about the situation now look at this I'm thinking about uh, vicious dog see how she wrote that said they also repeatedly lied by insisting that the dog was a pit bull that's not what the cop said. Or okay. a, a, you know, a dog charge? Yeah. He said dog charge. He just said vicious dog. I didn't hear him say pit bull. The situation. I'm thinking about uh, vicious dog. Vicious dog. Or okay. And he said okay. A, you know, a dog charge? Dog charge. Vicious dog. This was a bully breed. So even if they described the dog as a pit bull, they wouldn't have been wrong. You couldn't call that a, a lie. Whether it's a pit bull or a bully breed, it's the same thing. They're more powerful, more aggressive. They have a unique biting style and they do not stop. They attack until you're dead. This is the straight up overt demonizing the cops. That's all this is. Demonizing a man for defending himself from an attack. The situation. I'm thinking about uh, vicious dog. Or okay. A, a, you know. People, when the police, when police officers have to go through stuff like this, you know we're all in trouble. You know everybody is in trouble and could find themselves in a situation like this. I'm, us, everyday people. 
A dog charge at us. We defend ourselves from that attack. And then we're going through the same thing. We're facing lawsuits. Possible jail time. We, we got to speak out against this, man. You want to find yourself in jail just because you defended yourself? Pathetic. That's not justice. A dog charge? Yeah. Um, for, for that? Somehow all of us citizens, we're all making it from point A to point B, not gunning each other's dogs down. Again, like I addressed in the other video, he was not just happily walking along and thought he'd shoot a dog. That's not what happened. He was barely moving. He got out of his car, stood up, and took a few steps forward. And then he had deadly predators, deadly creatures, charging at him. There ain't no amount of training that's going to convince me to stand there and accept whatever the dog is planning on doing to me. I don't think so. Nobody should be expected to be that stupid. He's a dog pit bull gonna come yeah. to bite me. I don't take the chances. I have to do what's gonna work. See what and, and and that is right. And this guy, he knows the cop is telling the truth. Cause he saw those dogs charging at that cop. He saw that that was self defense. But he wants the police officer to give in to this belief that we're supposed to pretend that dogs are not dangerous. They all come on, buddy. You, you're supposed to pretend that the dogs uh, is harmless. You're supposed to pretend like it's a baby, like my wife does. You heard her saying, oh, you shot my baby. That's my baby. No, dude. I'm not your wife. This cop is not your wife. And we ain't living in La La Land over here. Right? Shout out to La La. No disrespect. To the name right we're not living in some type of dream some type of alternate universe where you can just call a dog a baby and suddenly all of a sudden everybody else is supposed to treat it like a harmless baby these nutters man this is criminal this is criminal so I actually, I think they did get sued, which is pathetic, man. They probably had a dog lover as a lawyer. I would have got him off. But this officer saw in this video and think you need to shoot that dog twice. You shouldn't be a police officer. No, no, no. Again, if it's still alive after the first shot, yeah, shoot it again. Because pit bulls don't stop. They don't stop. When they decide to attack, they don't stop until they're dead. And I only saw one shot. You know what she talking about. And if it was two, he shot those two pretty fast. And he shot twice probably because he was scared. He thought, here, let me shoot another one just in case I missed him with the first one. Oh, I guess nerves are not supposed to be factored in when he's under attack by a deadly predator. No, that's pathetic. Sir. Soon after the incident, Loveland police said Officer Grasshorn's actions were justified and within policy. That's right. Police department said that what the cop did was justified and within policy. What's not in policy is for you to trespass and then let your dogs run around off leash. And how can you defend people like this? The lawsuit alleges the officer's actions weren't. And Shelke believes the entire department needs an overhaul. They are not changing their behavior um, despite being recorded. They're not changing their behavior despite being recorded. The behavior that the dogs, or excuse me, the uh, police officers should have is stand there while a dog charges at you. Assume it wants to play. Assume that it's just greeting you. Don't defend yourself. If that's what you want the police officers to become, then I don't blame them. That's clearly what you're asking for. Right? Their department needs an overhaul. They are not changing their behavior um, despite being recorded. Oh my goodness. Make it stop.
Make sense out of this, man. Make sense out of it. So I just wanted to challenge. She has this slogan. Where is it? She said, the life and liberty law office. And down here it says, specializing in the protection of both. So she specializes in the protection of life and liberty. Not by protecting dogs. But because dogs are a threat to our life and our liberty. They attack people every day. 14,000 a day. About 7,000 kids. You're not protecting life by protecting these creatures. Dogs are the only animals on earth that attack kids and babies. The only creatures on the planet. And they prefer to attack them. Over half, all victims are kids. And that includes babies, infants. And kids under 13 make up about 17% of our population. Not even one quarter. Not even a quarter. Less than a quarter of our population. Yet make up over half of all attack victims. You're not protecting life when you protect creatures like that. Right? <laughs> so, ma'am, if you see this video, I hope you also have a look at the comment section. A lot of insightful comments that are always left. Uh, I appreciate all the input that everybody provides. Let's hope we hear from Sarah. How do you pronounce her name? Shelky? Sarah Shelky. She's got a YouTube. She has a Twitter. She has an opponent of her views. She has a critic right here. Waiting to hear her defense. I believe bully breeds should be exterminated. All of them. All of them. They're too dangerous. Anything else that has ever been in society that has injured just a few dozen children was removed from the shelves immediately. Do your research. You'll find several toys that have been banned because of a few dozen minor injuries. The injuries for reconstructive surgeries alone are in the tens of thousands every single year. And because of that, dogs, or at least bully breeds, should be exterminated. Because bully breeds account for some 85% of all serious mutilations. One doctor said 100% of all people hospitalized seven days or longer were attacked by a bully breed. And really... If you are hospitalized for three days, well over 80% of those victims, bully breeds. But it's established 65% on average are attacked by bully breeds. Fatal attacks. They were attacked by a bully breed. Maybe even higher than that even though they make up some 6% of the dog population. When you got statistics like that, there's nothing else to talk about. So of all dogs, she was defending a bully breed in this situation. Defending the one dog that even many dog lovers say should be banned. Bully breeds are an easy target. There's no way anybody in their right mind should defend the presence of pit bulls. They attack at an alarming rate. And their attack is unlike any other dog's attack. 
They bite down, hold, and shake to cause maximum damage. Uh, I hope you visit the blog on the home page of my channel. Uh, you can't miss it. And it'll give you testimonies from dozens of doctors who explain this a lot better than me. So let's hope we hear from Sarah Shelke. Big shout out to everybody who's able to join me for this live stream. And I hope to see you all on the next as we continue with this crusade.